A disappointing fact about myself is that for someone that's dressed up as Captain Spock for Halloween twice, I'm pretty terrible at logic games. And in a cruel twist of betrayal, Brain Games, a company that excels at creating games that I'm pretty good at, dexterity games, has decided to dip their feet into the world of accessible logic puzzles. The gist of Deductio is simple. You want to guess the hidden numbers in front of your opponents. A deck of cards listed is 1 through 20 is shuffled and players are dealt one of these. They may look at it, but must keep it secret. Additional number cards are revealed, making it easier to narrow down what your opponents don't have. And additional numbers are revealed throughout the course of the game. On a player's turn, they can either guess a card or take a clue card from the center. These clue cards give all players information about the hidden cards in front of you. By taking a clue card and placing it vertically in front of me, I'm saying, hey, here's more ways for you to narrow down what I have in front of me. And in a worst case scenario, if none of the cards accurately describe my hidden number, I have to take all of them and place them horizontally in front of me, telling the table that all those clues do not pertain to my number. Now, why wouldn't I just start guessing right off the bat? Because if I'm incorrect in my guess as to what somebody has in front of them, then I have to take that previous action not once, but twice. And therein lies the dichotomy. Me, as someone who's always assuming it's either my turn or constantly asking if it's my turn, now must realize that in this game, turns for me, for the most part, are bad. I don't want to give up any additional information. Turns are uncomfortable unless I'm ready to guess what one of the hidden numbers is in front of another player. If I do correctly guess an opponent's card, they discard all their clue cards and take another number. Depending on the number of players, once a player earns the correct amount of points, they win the game. Now, out the gate, I do really enjoy this game. It reminds me a little bit of the fantastic logic and lore from Weird Giraffe Games. However, it does allow for more players, and it's more accessible to younger players as well. What I don't enjoy about this game is that I, I don't like taking my turn in this game. It is such a, a reversal in my mind where turns are normally used in games, any board game or card game, to advance your position. However, in this case, it's everybody else's turn that gives you more information to potentially win the game. And so it's not that I necessarily hate that, it's, it's just different and weird and slightly uncomfortable for me. But in that uncomfortableness comes a certain amount of tension that brings along with it a sweetness when you do accurately guess someone else's card. It provides tension while being easy to explain and quick to play. When you're in the midst of this, it feels almost like a social deduction game with everyone else at the table. However, it is far from that. It is not a social deduction game. It is a pure logic deduction game, which is pretty cool to me. Deductio is a card game that lives up to the publisher's name, Brain Games. It causes you to think, it forces you to think logically and use that deduction, the name of the game, to best your opponents. Now that means that some people are going to naturally be better at this type of game than other people, but it is a nice, low bar of entry for anybody that's interested in this type of game. And if you already enjoy this style, this is definitely something to look into.